What's up, Barbara? Shoulder point. Okay. <laughs> and you heard it from the mouth himself. Hey guys, and welcome back to another day in the life at Jelly Farms. Today, what we're doing is uh, we got a roll of uh, tubing. That's 500 feet of uh, plastic PVC flex pipe. And I got some wood here, right here. I got some two by fours, and I'm gonna make a a spool for it. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, kind of I built it by kind of thought, kind of what I kind of know might work or. You know, so it's going to be bad uh, trial and error. I think it's going to be all right, though. But what I got working here, it's a pretty good plan. So we'll see you soon. Now I'm going to take one 8-foot 2x4 and cut it in half. And that will be the base. And I'll probably take another 8-foot uh, 2x4 and cut that one in half as well. Uh, that would be the base, so you have a flat piece of wood, and then I'm going to have a piece of wood up for like a T. And then um, that T, the, I guess you'd call them legs or stands or however you want to call them. Those would be the, uh, you know, we'll have those for the uh, 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 brackets, whatever. Okay. There we go. We're going to cut them.
1930, and this one would be used for something else. And I gotta take for a minute. An angle of 22.5 should be fine and should be sufficient. So I'm going to cut it off at the end. I'm not too worried about the other side because it really won't matter. So it'll, it'll be a little bit better. Uh, I can easier to work with actually. So I'm going to put that about right there. I'm going to grab a screw and I'm going to screw this on now. From the other side too. I'm just going to kind of eye it since it really doesn't have to be perfect and I'm going to make the other one just a mirror image of this. cut it. I should also have my other cut for the other piece. And wow, that's what, 22.5. And I'm going to have to turn this that'll work. Okay. Okay, you could also kind of sand it by rubbing the edges together. Okay. It's not as good as sandpaper, but it'll work for that. And let me make two of these. And there's 
some other mark. Could be right about where I Okay, I got this and I lined it up. This seems to be about right. So I'm going to put a screw in each one of them. Okay. And these are two and a half inch two and a half inch times nine screws. Okay. And we got one side done. Well, I'm starting. I still have to put another couple of screws in there. And, uh, you know, I think I might, I don't know, I, what do you guys think? Do you think I should brace this up or just, you know, leave it like it is? Uh, it's not going to have a lot of weight on it. But maybe, yeah, maybe I should put a couple more screws on, on the bottom. So, now you're getting... Okay. Sorry about this, I'm going to raise it up. Okay, now you're getting a little bit of an idea. Okay, I'm going to cut two more at 22.5. Everything. You just get it here at the end. At one end right there. Make sure it's right there at the end. And then, then do the same with another piece. Okay, here's the other side. What I'm going to do, same thing I did. Put that, I'm going to work it out. check that. So let's bring this one up here and check it on that one. Right there. 
Okay guys, this is called testing the fit, and uh, that's about how it's going to work out. I actually got it on backwards, but there's the end of the tube, so all I'm going to do is have to pull the tube out, and it'll stay in place, and I can just pull the tube out. What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to put it, be putting it on the cart. And I pull it behind with the tractor and put it in position where I need it and then, you know, pull the tube. Pull. Okay guys, before I go any further, I'm going to uh, go ahead and put the other screws in here. Probably two for each connection. Get better, uh,
yeah, it did measure. I did measure and it measured 30 inches on the inside. So what I'm going to do, actually it's more like 32 or 33. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut two pieces of board to 30 inches. And let's see. I'm going to cut two pieces of boards 30 inches. And then uh, we'll see. I'll tell you, my, my pants have, have changed about three times. Okay, that's right. that side. So this will work or how good it work or if it'll be pretty flimsy or or what but it should be And here's a side view of it. It does have a little bit of play in it. Well, a lot of play, but since I'm not really a carpenter, I could follow plans that are already laid out, but like when I lay out my own plans, <laughs> you know, it's going to be probably a hair out of square. Or more. Or <laughs> probably more. But this is fine. Um, I can probably make some bushings or something, so this so this won't do that. But as long as that pipe stays in there, that's fine. And uh, okay, guys, I saw something that I could probably do, and maybe get a little bit more creative here. Um, hopefully the wood doesn't crack or... Okay. 
what I found is I had a bunch of these left over right there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a little indentation for the for the pipe to lay on that way it will help it from rolling back and forth So I'm going to do that for the other side and we'll see you next time guys.